guys, Nick from High Bike Collective here. Uh, welcome back. We are continuing with our series of construction guides for the TU 8500 preamp with phono stage from Medikit. Um, we're on the build for the, uh, the PCB at the moment, just about to put all the electrolytic caps on. So all these electrolytic caps are polar. So you will see that there's a negative um, mark here, which is this line down the side of the cap. So it also has a negative sign in it. So that's a negative. Um, if you look at the board, they've got a kind of a white line end there, um, which signifies the negative, and, but also they put a positive sign there as well. So obviously, if that's the negative there, it'll go in like that. I don't know if that's the right place to put it, but I'm just gonna show you. So it'll be like that. Negative, see that? Negative there, white line there, and then the positive goes to the other side. So first series is a 220 UF, 25 volt. Oh, so now I'm just gonna populate the um, electricity caps onto the board. So another, another note, uh, there are several 120 UF, 20 volt um, low ESR capacitors. Now these have a different marking on the case than you would normally see. So if you look here, this purple stripe signifies the negative. Um, so they go along here. So you can see the stripe there as well. So it just lines up. So that one will go in there. Yeah, like that, cool. So I've just fitted all the electrolytic capacitors pretty straightforward. Um, now we're going over to number 19, which is the cement resistors, which is this trap. Um, there's no directionality to this, just pop it in either way. Then you've got your jacks. So these are the RCA jacks. So your inputs are all here. They're all there. So we'll basically pop them in. Make sure the jack is fully seated and level on the PCB before soldering. So there's only one way these can be fitted, so you can't really go wrong with these. But as it says, make sure they are properly, because they click in. Good. It's all done. And have some fets. So here, there's your fet there. So it has to go a certain way, pretty straightforward. It's all explained on here. So the other. I see is this LM two nine nine OT. Same again. There's a drawer in there for orientation. Straightforward enough. Pop it in that way. Cool. Solder those in. With these, I don't like to apply too much heat to. So one leg, so I'll go dum dum. Just give me a chance to cool down. That board's now complete. Now it's telling us to 
go over to unit two, which is this chap here. It's got valve bases here. So we've got some resistors. So 3K3, that's that one and that one. That's two of those. And the 33K is that one and that one. And then 100K for the last two. Cool. Done, done. PCB terminal. That. And then tube socket. Right, I'm going to solder these up now because. So now we're fitting the IC here, which goes in there, but it needs using standoffs here. So before fitting, you need to put the standoffs on. You see here, it's got the screws here. You're actually just fixing these on temporarily just to keep them in place. So obviously those screws come out and it comes in. And then, okay. right. So I'll leave them. Cool. Unit two is assembled. We've got unit four next. So LED. Right, there is polarity to the LED. So the longer leg is A. So I can see that's the cathode. So that's pretty identifiable. So it goes in like that. And then it's, you bend it. A connector, two pin, it can only fit one way. And then the power socket, switch, sorry. Uh, great. Wonderful. So that's unit A done. Sorry, unit four. I keep getting it down my collar. Hits my chin, bounces down. That's that down, down. Mm. Right, so I'm gonna check a few things here on the board. Um, first thing, joins. Everything has to be soldered. So you can see here, all my beautiful soldering. Here, I'm just looking, scanning everywhere to see holes. There are holes here, but that's in case you want to fit a an upgrade cap. But so they don't need to be filled in this instance. Um, so that's for an external volume control. So if you want to use your own, there's a hookup for that. Test voltages, I reckon there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so happy with all the caps, the FETs, and the ICs are the right way around. The holes there, holes there, brilliant. The sine waves for the bridge rectifier is good. Sine wave, sine wave. So I'm going to There's a lot of bridge rectifiers in this. The one thing that I didn't do, which I was going to leave to the last man, was fit the, the pop amps. Cool. So you can see the mood, um, a dot there, lines up with the dot on the body there. Cool, that's ready to go. I was going to check the other boards. Cool. Happy with that one. This one. Yeah. So now we're going to bring all these boards together. So we've got unit three here, which goes in there like that. And then same with this. This one fits in here. Like so. 
so that fits it all nicely in place. And then before soldering, it suggests putting the screw in. There's also one here. Right, so that's all kind of done, the board-wise. I don't think there'll be any more soldering, soldering required. Looking good. So there you go. Right, now onto the chassis. Don't know that anymore. So we're dealing with the, the two switches here. Get this small metal tube, pop that through there. The other end goes on the shaft of the switch, which is a bit tricky. And then this metal thing, I assume, is just going to go through a hole somewhere. Anyway, that's that done. Two. Hexagonal spaces times three. That's these. Now we're fitting the um, R-Core transformer. What did you think? So you've got four chords here, six chords here. And it's telling you six chord goes that way, four chord that way. So there we are. It's done. We've got the feet to these chaps. That feet are on. Now we're putting the the PCB in. Yeah, so that way. I'm gonna take these screws off. We only have the best coffee at Hi-Fi Collective. Yeah. And the best water. Right, let's check this in. Now that the switching stuff's going through. So when you, when you fit this board here, be aware that these chappies Gonna have to line up, might be a bit fiddly, because they come through these holes, that one and that one. So there. See? See these two things here? That's it. Um, quarter inch jack that goes in there has to line up. And then get your PCB screwed down. here just to keep it all in place and then the other one is there that's it but don't do it tight and then come around here because now you're gonna screw in all these screws fit in this on off switch now we're connecting up all the connectors pretty straightforward because you can't really go wrong that one goes in there that goes in there Bend that round that way. So, piece here that you connect the twos together. Push the cables to connect them through a little bit. So there. Slip these through. So these are couplers. Quite nice. Um, there's an amendment to the instructions. So previously they were using a ceramic one, but now they're using this one. Pretty straightforward. It's just hex screws there. So you can see that 
the shaft has got a flat section there on both of them. So I would have one grub screw hitting flat onto that. And then these rods slip through these flanges things. Oh, nice. Like that. Just gonna, before I screw it, I'm gonna get the knobs out. That's good. Cool. So that's that done. And then it says the vacuum tubes, which are these chaps. They provide JJ um, ECC 82s, it's double triode. So this is basically just used on the, um, the line stage. Just there. Let's go around little circles, pushing. Easy enough. And then, same with the other one. Right, so the chassis lid goes on. I think it's a slidey slidey. No, it isn't. It's a droppy downy. I'm looking at the right way around. Yep. It's that done. So, so underneath we've got these that we didn't tighten up earlier. So we're now on number 14, which is all about putting the labels on. Sweet, so that's all done. Now it says, yeah, so I think it's basically, early kit, I've got confidence that you're gonna build it and build it correctly the first time. So the kind of suggestion is just plug and play, just turn it on without doing any tests. But if you have problems, something's not quite right, then you obviously take the lid off and you can you can check the voltages. Which, I mean, we, we don't have a record player here. Cool. Well, I was just gonna plug it in and turn it on. All you're gonna see is an LED come on. But let's switch her on. So she'll blink for a little while and then the relay will kick in and then she'll go solid green. But um, yeah, brilliant kit as usual. Well done, any kit. Um, we're gonna take her away and have a listen and then do a sound one later. <laughs>